Hey y'all, say y'all. This reading will be from my lovely Gemini, Gemini gang. To those who don't know, I'm a Gemini. Obviously, I'm just cheesing from ear to ear as soon as I said it. But yeah, let's get into the energy. See what it is that we need to hear in it the most at this time. What this Lion's Gate portal is bringing into our energy. So this is for all Gemini placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. And all that good stuff. Let's see what's going on. Please understand that all of my readings are general. So take what resonates to you and your situation and leave the rest behind. Do not force anything to fit. I'm going to talk extremely fast because I want to fit all my downloads in a 10 minute frame. So just try to keep up with me, man. Try to keep up with me, man. All right, clear and concise messages for Gemini. What is it that Gemini needs to hear and know the most at this time? What is it that Gemini needs to hear and know the most at this time? Please just block out any interferences so I get these messages across and protect my space. Any dark magic or evil I've been sent my way or to the way of Gemini, I ask that you return it back to sender, magnified and bonded to them. Thank you so much, Spirit. Ashe, Ashe, and Ashe. Let's see. What we need to hear and know, gems. Clear and concise messages for my Geminis. Clear and concise messages for my Geminis. Right, the first one we have is opportunities will soon knock at your door. Debt will be wiped clean and your bills will be paid in full. Your finances are about to change. Yes, this is Lionsgate energy, y'all. That's very much so Lionsgate energy. So I can be talking to some Geminis who've been doing some type of money rituals. I know that I have personally. Um, rather, it's blowing cinnamon in your house. I would do that today, y'all. If you haven't done it now, I'd do it today. Make sure that your space is clean, though. It's decluttered. You don't want you don't want to start doing money rituals or trying to attract money into your house when you're when it's not a clean space because the money's gonna come in just that way. Confused and confused and scrambled and it's gonna cause confusion as well. So make sure that your space is clean. Um, but yeah, blowing cinnamon in your house. I also what I'll do is I'll write a dollar amount the a dollar amount on a bay leaf, so mode it be out up under it, and then I'll burn it. That's another um, another little tip I like to do. Also like to put a uh, cinnamon in a dollar bill, fold it towards you. Make sure you're folding that dollar bill towards you four times, turning it right every time, turning it right and folding it towards you four times and then tucking it in your wallet, but you don't spend that bill. Just to help you, you know, attract you a, attract you a little bit of change, you feel me? <laughs> All right, we have, what is meant for you won't pass by you. You will never have to force something that is truly meant to be. Trust in the perfection of divine timing and allow your life to unfold as it should. Whatever comes, let it come. Whatever goes, let it go. So, um, Gemini, this energy has been coming up a lot, honestly, for all of the zodiac signs. But rather this be relationship, a job, a friendship, whatever it may be. If you feel like you are putting in far, far too much effort to try to keep it together, then more than likely it, it means that it's no longer supposed to serve a purpose in your life. A lot of times that means that your soul has been in, been in or mingled with this person or situation as long as it was supposed to. And now it's time to release it with love and let it go. Okay. All about surrendering to processes right now, especially now because if you're attracting, you're attracting abundance and different things into your life. Sometimes having the wrong people in your energy can block those blessings. So this is spirit letting you know, okay, yeah, you got finances coming, you got blessings coming, debt will be wiped clear, but you still got the same bullshit ass people around you. You still in a you, you you know I want you I want you to know that regardless if you walk away from that job or not, that you will be protected. Tell me more, spirit. No matter what happens, no matter how far, and in this, this is only if you're in a job that is stressful, that you feel like you're not being valued, it's bringing you a lot of stress, chaos, that's, that's the only, that's the only, only way that I would tell you to walk away from a job. But anyway, it says, no matter what happens, no matter how far you seem to be away from where you want to be, never stop believing that you will somehow make it. Have an unrelenting belief that things will work out, that the long road has a purpose. Yes. So for a lot of you, um, your blessings and the, you and, and things that you know you, you want to come in, it's all playing out in divine timing. So it's very so it's very much so about having faith and trusting the process and surrendering to the process as well. It says when the world feels like I was just gonna say this too, because a lot of times when 
you know, when the universe is about to upgrade us, stuff starts to fall apart. And it starts to fall apart because it's really just the universe's way of making space so it can give you the blessings. For some of y'all, y'all want blessings. Y'all want this love. Y'all want this, whatever it may be. But you ain't got no room for it to squeeze into all the stuff that you got going on. You understand what I'm saying? So sometimes the universe will come in and just push it out the way and then replace it with better. But anyway, it says, when the world feels like it is... It is come, coming, crashing down around you. Take that as an opportunity to find yourself and let go of who you thought you were. Not all storms come to destroy your life. Some come to clear your path. Decide that this crisis will be the turning point that you have been waiting for. Yeah. It's like that the, the storm before the, before the flowers and the sunshine and the rainbow. That's all that's going on for some of you. I know it because I've really lived this. I've I've lived the lived the yo, what the fuck, like really sitting down, having a conversation. Like y'all don't think I deserve love. Y'all don't think I deserve to be happy of all the stuff I've been through. Do y'all think y'all think I deserve to keep? And then fast forward, it's like, oh. Okay. That's why they say blessings, a lot of blessings come in disguise. So many of us, we want these blessings and we want the universe to come in. I keep saying this energy is very, is very uh, common throughout the collective so far, throughout, throughout all, all the signs so far. Um, but a lot of us, we want the universe to come in and give us these blessings on top of what we already have. Like, I want you to build onto, onto my foundation where the universe is like, no, your roots are weak as fuck. Like, no. I build onto that front. If I build, if I come in and I build onto the foundation that you have already, you will not be able, your roots will not be able to sustain, to sustain this weight or what I'm giving you. So how about we rip all this shit the fuck up? We plant a new seed. And then I'm going to give you blessings. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you brand new blessings. You think you want to hold on to the stuff that you have, but you don't know what I have in store for you. That's how the universe works more times than not. Normally before an upgrade, stuff seems to fall apart. Just saying. I'm just saying. Tell me more for my gems. More for my Geminis. Gemini gang. <laughs> it says your time is coming. Everything is coming together for you, but you must meet the universe halfway. Hold only a bright and happy vision of yourself with successful outcomes. With successful outcomes. And don't allow your fears or insecurities to stand in your way. So Gemini, here's one thing that we have that can be like uh it can be like a roadblock but also a beautiful thing at the same time we are air signs so we spend a lot of time in our heads but we are very optimistic as well we have a childlike energy about us it is not easy for us to fairy tale i'm i'm big on deluding something into your reality understand that you are worthy of whatever it is that you desire because everything is energy Everything that you desire desires you more. There is some there is some timeline where that exists for you. You just got to get to it. You got to get to that. So start envisioning these happy outcomes that you want for yourself. You visualize it. I want to see you in that car that you want. I want to see you in that. I want you to see yourself in that relationship that you want to be in. And then I want you to take the time to imagine what that would feel like. Make that energy. Put that energy in, in, in motion. I want you to get into the... Once you visualize it, feel the emotion behind it. That puts the energy in motion. But a lot of times what we'll do is we'll start to think about what it is that we don't want. And then we'll start feeling the feelings associated with that. And then we start giving, sending the universe mixed signals. And that's what we have to stop doing because we're putting roadblocks in between us and our blessings when we do that. Okay. All right. We down to like the last minute. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get it in there. All right. It says, don't be afraid to say, I love you. Or thank you to those who deserve to hear it. Don't be scared of embarrassing yourself or appearing soppy. You will never regret heartfelt I love you or a message of appreciation. You will only ever regret not saying it. Look, y'all, we're all on borrowed time. If you got something you want to tell somebody like, yo, you know, I just want to appreciate your regardless of how, what it looks like. I'm just a big lover, girl. I love speaking life into people. So for me, I don't mind doing it. You know, I don't mind doing it. Um, but yeah. Something for, for some of you, there is somebody you want to tell them how much you love them, how much you appreciate them. But maybe your pride and ego is in a way you don't want to come off. You don't want to come off weak. Maybe you have a fear of that energy may not be reciprocated. But at the end of the day, if that's how you feel, speak on it. Period. Point blank. OK, but this has been your energy, Gemini. I really hope that it resonated. If so, like and just circulate the video. But until next time, love y'all.